So they went and told Prabhupada, the police wanted you to stop dancing, Prabhupada, and Prabhupada just turned like he didn't hear and kept dancing. He didn't stop. So how is it possible? Uh, because there's, uh, there's another platform. Uh, the chanting is coming from the spiritual platform. Goloka Premadana Harinama Sankirtan. Uh, this chanting is coming from the spiritual world, Goloka Vrindavan. So why are we not feeling that same ecstasy? Because uh, we have to purify ourselves. Uh, and this is the way. The end and the means is the same. We chant Hare Krishna. Once Bhakti Siddhanta was asked, why do you chant Hare Krishna? And he said, so I can chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> because, you know, we're practicing to chant Hare Krishna, but we're not chanting perfectly. But we go on chanting, go on chanting, then the chanting will, be, will improve and improve. And so, Lord Chaitanya, when he was chanting, that sometimes the tears would shoot out of his eyes. He was feeling such ecstasy, like a syringe in ecstasy. And Lord Nityananda was dancing so ecstatically in that kirtan of Lord Chaitanya. <clears throat> so we want to be, qualify ourselves to enter into that kirtan. But in order to do that, our heart has to become pure. Chaito Dharvana Majanam Bhava Mahadeva. The Lord uh, tells, tells us we should go on into chanting. It'll clear out the dirty things from our heart. How do we expect to have those kind of ecstatic emotions when we're still troubled by lust? Who's not troubled by lust? Who's Everyone is troubled by lust. This is the material condition. So that's okay. If you have a body, you have to be troubled by lust. But we all know that it is a trouble. It's a sh lust is a cruel master. It's never satisfied. You see the old man going to the, see the naked dance. Uh, he's not finished. He's doing it for the whole life. Seen so many naked women, but still he'll pay $50 to go to the club. Even 70-year-old, 80-year-old men see the naked woman. Why? Because the lust is never satisfied. Goes on pushing and pushing and burning like fire. So we can change that lust into love by this process and actually become happy. But instead of being a, a slave of lust, we become a voluntary servant of Krishna and his representative, Srila Prabhupada. And they're very kind masters. They're not cruel like lust is. And they reward us as we surrender to them. The Krishna reciprocates in a very loving way. And we feel so happy in that reciprocation so that we can give up our lust. The taste may still be there, but we have a higher taste. Uh, and therefore, we can just avoid it. Just like, practically speaking, I was born in, on Long Island, New York, uh, I, in 1941. I went to school there, and then I went to the University of Buffalo. So I was a meat eater. I was a woman hunter. I was taking intoxication. But now I have no attraction for these things. I have no attraction to go to eat a hamburger, absolutely zero. No attraction to smoke. I was smoking for 10 years. Uh, no attraction. Marijuana I used to smoke, no attraction. LSD, no attraction. I can't say I'm completely free from attracting a woman, but that's the deepest attraction. Man for woman, woman for man. It's very deeply rooted. Uh, and we don't want you artificially to claim that you're free from that attraction. Better to be married. You could have a good, uh, just like our Tamil president, nice children. So then uh, we can gradually overcome, not abruptly. And then uh, we can qualify ourselves more and more. So we should take the long-range view. Think, okay, this is my goal. I want to be free from lust. I want to be happy. Because anybody who's addicted to lust, they're not happy. Because lust is, is forcing us. Nobody likes to be forced. It's pulling us against our better judgment. Sometimes we use that expression in English, right? What a stupid jerk. A jerk is what? Somebody is being jerked against his will. You see, oh, he's a real jerk. Because he's jerked. So we're all being jerked by lust. Pulling us here and there. Why is this... Uh, pornography is such a big business on the internet. The men are addicted. They can't resist. They have to go and look at it. <clears throat> so they're jerks. But they don't have no, a way to come out of that. But we're offering that. Come to the kirtan of Hari and you can give up that addiction. 
You get a higher taste, better thing. Then you can give it up. Just like I've given up hamburgers and whatever. I'm sure all of you have too. You're not addicted to, you know, you think, oh, I have to go get, go to McDonald's when you leave here, right? You have nice bichotum. And, and then you feel. Uh, so in this way, gradually, we can become pure in our heart. So we'll see Krishna. Krishna's in our heart. Uh, <clears throat> and as we purify our heart, we'll be able to feel his presence and, and communicate with him. He'll speak to us. Once Prabhupada was asked by the reporter, well, why do you call this International Society for Krishna Consciousness? And they said, the reporter asked, well, how does Krishna get involved? What is it? <laughs> you know, why is it Krishna Society and Krishna Consciousness? So the devotee was there, Ramachar, he said, uh, he was speaking to the reporter, Prabhupada was sitting, and Ramachar answered by saying, you see, Krishna gives us the intelligence, and this way uh, we can come to him, something like that. So Prabhupada said, no, Krishna will directly talk to us. So this was Prabhupada's experience, Krishna was directly talking to him. So we can have that experience too, but... Again, in order for Krishna to talk to us, we have to be qualified. Just like uh, now we have President Obama. He's not going to come and talk to us, seek us out, because what is our qualification? But if we become very qualified, then he may want to meet us. So something like that. We, if we become, and what is the qualification? If we love Krishna. If we love Krishna, then he'll seek us out. So many examples are there. Just like Vidura. He was a lover of Krishna. So when Krishna went to on a peace mission to the Kuru kingdom, uh, Duryodhana was inviting him, oh, come and have dinner with us. But Krishna said no. He, he, want, he went to Vidura's house. Why to Vidura's house? He was a, a sudra. But because he was a devotee. But Krishna preferred to be with the devotee. He sought him out. So many examples, like Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur was born in a Muslim family. By the strict Hindu, he was outcast, untouchable. But because he was a great devotee and chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra so much that Lord Chaitanya would go every day to have lunch with him. Uh, because Haridas Thakur wouldn't go to the temple. Jagannath he said, no, I am uh, I'm too, too uh, fallen to go to the temple. I'm too sinful out of his humility being born in a Muslim family. He said, I'm too, fan I'm too sinful. My birth is so sinful. How can I go to the the, the pujaris may uh, touch me inadvertently and then they'll go to hell. So he was so humble like that, he wouldn't even go to the temple. But the Lord himself would personally come to see him. So this is the prophet would sometimes tell us, don't try to see God, but act in such a way that God will see you. And this is our, our process. So today, a nice auspicious day, Lord Nichananda's appearance. Yesterday we observed him. So. And... Uh, it's an impetus for us to become more determined. We have so many books. I think I'm not going to speak from the books today because it's already 7.20 and I'm sure many of you have to work tomorrow morning. So take a nice pishada and remember the happiness of chanting Hare Krishna. Come regularly. And whenever you have opportunity in your house, sit together and chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Govinda Jaya Jaya, Gopala Jaya. What is it? It's not difficult. Offer your food to Krishna, Pataram Pushpam Phanam Toyam. He says, I'll accept it if you offer me in love. You can keep one room or one part of the room at least, a little altar there, offer your food. The ladies especially can. It's not a very difficult austerity. You don't have to stand on your head or do something uh, extraordinary. We all have to eat, so just offer to Krishna. And with some little love, and Krishna will accept it. Then just eating will purify us. And chanting Hare Krishna with our family members, what is it so difficult? Of course, you're always welcome to come here, but it may not be practical to come every day. Uh, but we can worship Krishna every day. Another good, uh, you can say, advice is to get up a little early and chant, because morning is the best time for chanting. 